Morning, Derek Raymond Marmon here. Welcome to day two of the Miracle Mindset Challenge. We are working through the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Um, yesterday was lesson one. Lesson one was I, uh, nothing I see in this room means anything. And we went through and we looked at different things in the room twice yesterday, uh, reminding ourselves, using that mantra, that nothing I see means anything. I ha six, was I liked that one because yesterday I had a very uncomfortable conversation with someone. And as I'm having the conversation and I'm thinking about just like the physical, the emotional things that go along with uh, what we were talking about, I found like some tightness in my chest and not being comfortable. And I used that mantra, remembered it and was like, okay, nothing I see means anything. And it was so cool because it was like, it just deflated the anxiety, the ego part, like the ego energy that was building up. Um, and it was just uh, a great experience because I didn't waste a lot of time getting upset about something that I can't control. Um, so today we're on lesson two. I have given everything I see in this room, on the street, from this window, in this place, all the meaning that it has for me. The exercise with this idea are the same as those for the first one. Begin with the things that are near you, apply the idea to whatever your glance rests on, then increase the range outward. Turn your head so that you include whatever is on either side. If possible, turn around and apply the idea to what was behind you. Remain as indiscriminate as possible in selecting subjects for its application. Do not concentrate on anything in particular and do not attempt to include everything you see in a given area or you will introduce strain. Merely glance easily and fairly quickly around you, trying to avoid selection by size, brightness, color, material, or relative importance to you. Take the subject simply as you see them. Try to apply the exercises with equal ease to a body or a button, a fly or a floor, an arm or an apple. The sole criterion for applying the idea to anything is merely that your eyes have lighted on it. Make no attempt to include anything particular, but be sure that nothing is specifically excluded. I have given everything I see in this room, on the street, from this window, in this place, all the meaning that it has for me. So I want to know, like, you know, the, the mantras become a part of your problem solving repertoire. Um, and so throughout the day, although you're not meant to strain and you're not meant to use these as affirmations, um, but throughout the day, things will happen that you might, whatever happens in your life, and you use these for that situation. So I wanna know what, how you guys are using these mantras, what's happening for you, um, what insights that you're having, what you're thinking as you're doing these mantras. So please feel free to comment uh, or message me, let me know, and I will see you guys in the morning.